vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your washing machine. I've been asked by a couple of you to do this and like Aladdin or the genie, it's the genie, I'm delivering. Right, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need some different stuff to do this. So we've got a car sponge here, you are going to need one of these. Um, because that's going to be what you're going to mainly be cleaning down the machine with. Don't bother with the small rags. It's going to take you forever to use those. Your best bet is to use an actual car sponge because it's the perfect size for the washing machine drawer. You're also going to need a microfiber cloth, which I have here. I've got some utensils as well. These are from OXO, um, but you can just use a toothbrush. If you've got a toothbrush, an old one, obviously, don't start using the toothbrush that you clean your teeth with, because you're going to end up with a dose of Persil in your mouth. Other brands are available. Um, and you're going to then obviously need your washing powder, or you can use a powder, you can use a liquid, whatever it is that you use within your machine, that is totally fine to use that. Anyone wanting to use a natural method, you guys need to grab yourself some white vinegar and some bicarb of soda. The first thing that you're going to want to do is fill your sink up. At this stage, you can use washing up liquid and you're going to put the actual drawer of your machine. It will slide out. You're going to immerse that in the water. Make sure the water's quite warm and just give the whole thing a clean over. Now, while we're doing this, I'm going to give you one of my tips, Hayley's tips. Um, when it comes to your washing machine, your drawer will naturally um, get mouldy, it just will. It's like a, you get like a black mould on it and the reason for this is because there is moisture. So, um, because it's moist, you need to make sure that the drawer is left open so try and do this every evening try and get into the habit of when you go to bed at night just before you go to bed pull in the drawer of your machine open and that will enable it to just air because if you think it's a compact space and if it's left like that the whole time it is just going to continually continue to grow um black mold and then it becomes really 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 hard to get off like if you've got small amounts of it it's really not that big a deal. But if there's like a whole load of it, like I've seen some washing machines and they're literally like caked in just like, it's just like a layer of just like, it's like a bottomless pit. You look down and you're like, oh my goodness, is that a black hole that we're about to fall into? And it isn't, it's their washing machine drawer that is just full of black mold. So you need to just make sure that you do that on like a regular basis. You don't need to go like, you know all out on it but just try and keep on top of it as much as you can and it will help massively if you just leave the drawer open overnight so that is my first hip so now we are going to move on to the actual drawer itself so the inside of the drawer that will be where a lot of the mould growth is if you are not airing it regularly. So you've got two options here. What you can do is, if there's loads and loads of mould growth, this is whether you're, we would rather clean an organic way or with a chemical. My best advice for that is soak your car sponge in white vinegar and then um, sprinkle a bit of bicarb of soda on the top of it and shove the whole sponge in like this and it will fizz away within the drawer and that will lift a lot of the um, black mould that's growing on the top and then once you've left that I'd say leave it at least for a couple of hours if you can leave it overnight that would be so much better leave it overnight come back to it and then just you can start scrubbing away and that will gather on the top of the sponge and then you can get the bottom bit as well and then for finer details what you can do is go over it the finer details with one of these so or a toothbrush an old toothbrush if you've got one and just scrub any excess away and it will definitely all come off if you haven't got a huge um, mold problem in your machine what you can do is just same again use the sponge but rather than putting the 
white vinegar on it, you can just use your washing up liquid or powder. If you use powder, you just sprinkle the powder on and that is then gonna be the same process. It's just gonna go in, except we're not gonna need to wait to do this. We can just rub it down and that will take off any kind of bits of yuckiness or leftover detergent that is within the machine drawer. Now we have done the drawer, that should be nice and clean for you guys. We can move on to the actual machine itself. So with the same sponge that you've been using, um, you don't need any more detergent at this stage because you're going to end up really foaming up the machine. Use the same sponge and it will already have either your white vinegar and your bicarb soda or your washing liquid on it. You can then just start cleaning the actual machine itself. Make sure you get inside all of the kind of um, the inside of the rubber seal because that will get quite mouldy as well if you do leave it. And here it moves on nicely to my next hip. Again, when you are going to bed at night, we've spoken about leaving the drawer open. You also need to leave the actual door of your machine open as well for the same reasons as what I spoke about with the drawer. If you've got this closed all the time, firstly, your washing machine is gonna to start to smell really, really funky because it's gonna be like um, that, that horrible, like damp smell. And the reason it does that is the same as the drawer, it's because it's not getting the air coming through it. So you're, it's kind of like, you're almost like boxing up and trapping the bad odours and no one likes that, they want to be set free. So um, leave the door open and that should stop that and it should also stop any black mould growth. So anyone that kind of asks me about this, that is my number one thing, just make sure that you're not keeping the doors on your machine closed and the drawer. I mean, it doesn't look the best, I will be honest. Everyone likes their machine to be closed and to look neat, but I leave mine open all the time because quite frankly, I would rather it look a bit like, why is your door open? Than be like, oh, your machine's really moldy and it stinks like dead foot. So leave your door open. That is my second hip on this vlog. If you have found yourself plagued with the dreaded black mould within the seal of your washing machine, what you can do is grab yourself a few of the car sponges like this. They're so cheap, you can get them in like the pound stores and the dollar stores and just cut long ways down them so you've got a, you've got about three sections then and you're going to soak them all in the white vinegar like i discussed for the drawer and you can then push them around the seal make sure they're tightly fitted around the whole seal and then again go to bed leave it overnight and when you wake up it should slide right off if you want an extra kick you can add the bicarb soda but the white vinegar on the seal as it's rubber should get it off fine on its own, but if you do want an extra kick, you can have black up the soda as well. Now, once you've done the main cleaning with your car sponge, the actual door, what you can use is just a microfiber cloth, just dampen it up a little bit and you can just wipe around it all just to get rid of any gunk or any um, excess washing powder. And then if you really, really, really are super duper um, precious about your machine, you can grab yourself some kind of glass cleaner. And once it's closed, you can do the inside bit. I find that a microfiber cloth works fine though for this. I don't feel like you need to be polishing it with different glass cleaners and stuff, but that is totally your choice. If you want to, fill your boots. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're cleaning your washing machine is at the bottom, there's like a valve that you need to regularly be emptying out. So you can just unscrew it, put a towel down or something, um, because water will leak out, and you'll find that your washing machine has collected different pieces. So this is where like um, my, oh, what are they called? Um, 
they're like um the 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 panels they're called like the pa i think they're like they're like panels that go within the washing machine they're like the bits that stick out this is where i've said it before in one of my own vlogs mine snapped off because i'm just using my washing machine all the time and you'll find like coins there's nails in there as well i can't imagine where they've come from um and there's like beads off some of my dresses so just make sure that you are doing that regularly because that will damage your washing machine over time and also things like coins and stuff you will end up with it being rusty and then it's just a nuisance to get rid of rust so just make sure that you are doing that that said if you do have rust within your um, machine at that bottom bit you can again go back to your car sponge make sure it's dry soak it in some coca-cola and then insert that into the actual part, bottom part of the washing machine. Leave it overnight and the rust should come off. So you're going to give that a clean as well. The actual plug that seals it all together. Just to get rid of any of the debris or rust or whatever's on it. And then you can let that dry. And your washing machine should be happy and fine to use once more. The one last thing that I do do once I've done all of this is I will always then put my washing machine on one cycle on the hottest wash. So I do advise that you do that once you've done it just to get rid of any, like to clean out any of the pipes and stuff. Don't have anything in it. Literally just put it on like a 90 degree wash or however hot your machine goes to and let it do a whole cycle like that and your washing machine will be shiny and new once more. Thanks so much for watching my vlog, guys. I just wanted to say a big hello to George and Tanya. They asked me to do a shout out in my last video, and here it is. Thanks a lot for subscribing as well, so keep doing that. And if you like this video, make sure you click the like button and follow me over on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and I also have a Musical.ly as well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all again next time here on Haley's Help. Bye! I thought today I would bring you a stairway and like a hallway cleaner. It's like, um, I love this because it's got a really stretchy like pole and it's like, um, it's like a snake almost. It's like you literally feel like Steve Irwin and you're like, it's right beneath my feet. This is like the slipperiest looks like a going. Look, it's falling all over the place, but it's super bendy. Um, I'll just put it around my neck just to... I mean, you literally could use it as a pillow, but don't because there's loads of dust in it. But you could, like, it's not escaping. The dust is not escaping this all summer. To climb back up the stairwell, and we're going to do the second step of cleaning the stairs. And you literally can, like, if you've got a song on in the background, you can use it as, like, a microphone. And you can feel like Elton John. You can be like, I'm still standing better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor. So good. <laughs> that really just hit me in my mouth. So be careful if you're using this as a microphone, because they are dangerous.